tell me, did either of you notice something really strange back there? You know, with Greta? Oh, who cares about that mad woman? Talarel has to get out of here as soon as possible so he can meet this Vladich character. If only it were that simple. I am speechless. They really have thrown us in jail. I'm at my wit's end, lad. Tell me what we should do. Hello, this is Jack and... Is this where I saved? I guess so. Uh... Yeah, apparently this is where I saved. So either way, that means I'm just gonna have to do stuff again. But, I did look... I did look this up beforehand. And so I was supposed to use the... Here we go, sorry. Professor. Or doctor. Doctor, professor, actually, what is your title? We were supposed to use the Energizer. Um, I think, basically, well, not, I don't think. I know where I went wrong. Basically, where I went wrong was thinking that I already put the potato with the Energizer. Well, no, I did do that. We go but there. I just didn't do it when there was a potato battery. So, we're just going to skip ahead to when I got, got back to... The original part. Till then, hold on. Ah, that can. Hmm. Um... Oh, thank you. It appears. Okay. Uh, okay, so he's got the potato again. I just realized that the tree here is already grown, so that is very odd. Uh, all right, rest off. Why? All right. Eh. Hmm. Now we have two metals: the zinc screw and. Okay. To stop talking. Ah, interesting. The metal in the screw can now do acid. The electrons are removed from the zinc, result charge, like the negative pole of a battery. Okay. The wire is wrapped around. Okay. So, yeah. Um, you know, what? I'll leave my thoughts till after I finish the game. Oh, <laughs> am I going to forget? And then. Why? Oh no, he still says why. So I am missing something. Voila! A functional potato battery. Did I not try that? I guess not. A starchy power storage unit. Very low voltage, however. Okay, so that was what was going on. So, hmm. I, s I mean, who knows? There... You think you click on everything, but you really... Or... Not click on everything, but make every single combination. Aha! Now the thing is really powered up. Okay. Can I just put it in the toilet? Aha! Now? now the thing is really powered up. Okay. Looks a bit obvious with it just sitting right here. Not the not the electricity over there. This but... toilet bowl is all wired up. All right. So we're done with that then. So Mouser. Oh. Uh... Do we ever give you a name? Then get up there. Okay. Man, I was always doing it the hard way, but... The mouse can just travel on his own. Alright. So, good news, we finally get to electrocute our guy. Yay! Hey, McCallum! McCallum! What did you want? There's water everywhere in here. What? It's gonna be a... Stimulating experience. Electrifying, I tell you. Oh, boy. Oh, that was tough. But it looked good. You hurt him. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, you hurt a human being. She's right, you know. That is a problem. 
With a sin like that on your shoulders, there's no way St. Peter's gonna let you back into heaven. What? That really is a problem. We have to find out how you can attain absolution. But first, you have to get to the pub as quickly as possible to meet with Vladic. Then we can look at getting you some absolution. So, out of curiosity, how, uh, how far does this hurt go? Like, if you poke someone? Or is it obviously to this point? Clearly not death, obviously, but still. It's like, where is the, where is the line for the degree of hurt involved? Right. Thank you. And now what do we do with him? Do we lock him in here or not? I don't know. He's not going to like it if we lock him up. But then he also wouldn't get in our way. Your decision. But hurry, you must make haste to the pub and meet with Vladic. Wait, it's actually allowing me to make a Wait, huh? Okay, what? Can I just go? I think it's probably for the best if I stay out of McCallum's way for a while. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of curious of how that may or may not change events. But... Hello, Marla. Hello, Talarel. How can I help you? Uh, I'll... Alright, either way, let's make our way to the... So, the save is very strange, because it saved the tree, but it didn't save the, the potato and all that stuff. Which, I do not know why that is a thing, but hi. Give me my... There you are at last. Sorry, I, uh... Yes, yes, now you're finally here. What can I do for you? There's something... Yes, Bloomford already told me that. You deliver a lot of things, so, uh... Yes, yes, I know. The flying machine has to go to Tavern Lane. Yeah, exactly, and, uh... So, it's like this. I am willing to do this for you, and especially for Bloomford. But, there's something you have to do for me first. Uh, what can I... That lunatic Greta. Lately, she's been acting more mad than usual. And I can't get rid of the nagging suspicion that it has something to do with you. But I... Yeah, yeah. You didn't fall from the sky, didn't talk to a goat, and are not to blame for Greta being even crazier than normal. In principle, I don't care. But if you want me to get that flying machine to Tavern Lane, and I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who can help you, then get Greta back to normal. But I... Listen, it's quite simple. You get Greta back to normal, and I move the flying machine to Tavern Lane. That's the way it's going to be, or it's not going to be at all. <sighs> Fine. I'm sorry. How exactly how much do you know? Hmm. Do either of you have even the slightest notion on how to get Greta back to normal? Not the slightest. First things first. As long as you're still carrying all those sins around with you, there's no way you're getting into heaven anyway. You should see about getting absolution so that you'll be allowed back into heaven and then we can look into how we can get you back. All so those sins? Well, this thing which has possessed Greta is obviously after you. First it got in your way, then it knocked you out. And if it hadn't got so wound up about you, it would never have left the goat and possessed Greta. What? After me? Who would be after me? I'm such a nice, friendly guy, I... It's all right, Talarol. Just find a way to be absolved of your sins down here, and then we'll see. So, confessional, right? Confess... Confess... Confess everything that we've ever done? Oh my god. Light Wait. in a dark place. Is it me, or... Does Greta somehow look a bit weird? No, you're right. She 
She's clearly showing signs of someone possessed. Michael and his angels have risen to fight the dragon. They are slain. The dragon and his angels. Damnation! They have lost their place in heaven. They are doomed. He has been slain. The mighty dragon, the old snake. Devil, oh Satan, 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 oh devil, the dragon has been vanquished and his angels have been cast down. They have been smoked down. Devery, you have been smoked down. You people, bind him to this place. Bind him and do not let him go. That is really spooky. Oh no, is that... can it be... Umarel. That... That can't be true, can it? It must have been him the whole time. It was him who stood in your way in the body of the goat, and knocked you out, and dragged you into this crypt. And he's the one who pushed me out of heaven. And it was him who possessed Greta after he left the goat. But did you see what he looked like? Like a demon. He looked like a demon. No wonder. He's committed so many sins. What with possessing the goat and... Standing in your way and possessing Greta. That he is now... a demon. Talarel, get out of here, now! But I need to absorb my sins. <laughs> okay. Well... Can I go back? Well, that's good. <laughs> Is it that simple? <laughs> Hi, I need to confess. Talarel. Oh my god, what wait. Can I do for what you? happened to the cross? Is everything alright? Is everything here alright? The cross is down for some reason. I'm afraid that I won't get to heaven. Yes, we all know this fear. But God is kind. Often kinder than you think. I've really done a lot of questionable things. Do you think that he will forgive me? I do not know, but maybe you would like to take your confession. What you solved on Earth shall be solved in Heaven. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> then come. Yay, professional. Let me absolve my sins and you must keep a secret. Hello, Father Bartholomew. So how does this work? Hello, Talarel. Now you say, Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. And then you tell me what you've done. Afterwards, I will give you penance and absolve you of your sins. Right then. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. And uh, how have you sinned, my son? I almost killed a mouse. Yes. But luckily, I was still able to catch its soul. And now, it's alive again. So maybe, it wasn't a sin. Mm, well, if the mouse is alive, uh, then you didn't murder it. That's right. <laughs> Lucky, I guess. Uh, what else do you have on your mind? Uh... I prevented people from praying? When was this? I really insulted old Peter. Oh, why? I wanted him to be angry with me. Hmm. Yes, we humans are like that. Sometimes we want to hurt others. And sometimes we want them to hurt us. Yeah, sort of. Talk to him. Maybe you should just apologize. Well, some things can be simpler than you think. Okay. I prevented people from praying. That's not good, Terrell. When we pray, we talk to God. Why did you do that? I know, I know. But Bloomford needed his burner and Greta had it in a drawer in her chambers. But I couldn't get in there because everyone was in the church. That's why I got some whiskey so that people would go back to the pub again, which she had forbidden. Hmm. Prohibition really was a bit over the top. I know, right? But that's no reason to drive the people out of the church. Yeah, I'm sorry. Truly I am. Uh, what else do you have on your mind? Um... I mean... Did, how, how, is, how is that on you? 
Because that's it's kind of their decision to go drink alcohol. I don't. Okay. Uh, you. Know, I. You. I. All oh, right. I'll just. I caused pain. Yet saith the Lord, Thou shalt love thy neighbor. It's my fault that my Lynn spider lost its fur. And that was really mean, considering how quickly it gets cold. Really? Yes, because I needed the fur for the little loom, which I used to make the toupee for Magnus, so that he'd give me the bottle he bought from Kareem. I'm really sorry. It wasn't the spider's fault. Uh, that's true. And what else? I gave McCallum an electric shock. Good Lord! Indeed. Bloomford built this thing from a potato and a few metal parts while we sat in jail, and then mounted it on the toilet. Then we lured McCallum into the cell and he fell down. I hope he's fine now. I'm really very sorry about doing that. That wasn't nice. Uh, that's true. Anything else? But worst of all was probably Greta. Greta? There was this goat that was possessed, and I splashed some water on it. And then afterwards, it died when it got so worked up seeing me. And then I think somehow whatever was in the goat got into Greta. At least I think so. Kind of somehow. What? I know, and I'm terribly sorry, too. <sighs> At least that explains her madness. No, she was already insane. Maybe not so comprehensive and certainly not as manic. Uh -huh. And I want to make amends. To make it right again, but how? Well, my son, uh, let's forget all that other stuff, because in relation to, uh, <laughs> well... Right. Usually, when something possesses a person, an exorcism is in order. I have never done one, but that's probably the only chance one has. Good. And then? You must perform an exorcism. This is the penance that I impose on you, so that you may obtain absolution. What? Me? But I don't have the slightest clue about how to perform an exorcism. I'll help you, my son, but you have to find a suitable location for the ritual. In a ritual, location is everything. Location, location, location. And you must come up with a ritual schedule and bring it to me. Once you have it, and all the components together, bring me the schedule and we'll perform the ritual together. But how do I know which components I need? And how do I come up with a ritual schedule? Calm down, my son. Find a suitable place first. The location determines how the ritual will have to go. Good. Then I look for a suitable place for the exorcism ritual. Good, my son. I see you've searched your conscience and have shown remorse. You've acknowledged your sins and decided to make amends. Are you going to keep trying to avoid evil in the future? Definitely. Good. God, the merciful Father, has reconciled, through the death and resurrection of his Son, the world to himself, and sent the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the Church, may God give you pardon and peace. I absolve you from your sins in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Provided you perform an exorcism on Greta. So find a suitable place for the ritual. Amen. Thank you. Thank the Lord, for it is he who has forgiven you your sins. Oh dear. This'll be fun. Anyone know anything about rituals and the appropriate places for them? Nope. Not the faintest idea. Take it easy. Look for a suitable place for the ritual first. Then we'll see. Okay, well, I think I got an idea. There's just that one empty place, so I have to figure out there's just a bunch of rocks and... Ro rocks and, um... Wait, can I finally put holy water in the bottle? Come on, Talarel. We need to move on. Move on. Get ourselves. Depossess a woman. I'm kind of curious. Can we apologize, Peter? A stone platform with a hole in the middle. Oh, I can. What? 
Wait, 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 wait. What was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Maybe that isn't what the ritual's for. I am... Okay. Hold on. I mean, it's not... Yeah, it doesn't look like it's an item in my inventory. A depression in the ground. A depression in the ground. Hmm. Could it? Is that? It is! An ancient human ritual place. One of the good ones. Very good, Tanaril. You found a suitable place for the ritual. And how do you activate that thing? Good question. Uh... Okay. I was not expecting... I just randomly... Like... Let's just click on the rock to see wow. what else there is. Hey! Talk about the right place for a ritual. That's a proper protective circle. Now we just need to figure out what those symbols mean. That would be the symbol for Earth. The soil symbolizes the body in the material world. That's the symbol for air. The air symbolizes the mind in the material world. That is the symbol from the book, the fifth element, with all that intention and operation and stuff. Maybe you should go back and read that through again. Okay, the fifth element? The symbol for water. The water symbolizes the feelings of living beings here in the material world. According to the book, that's the symbol for fire. Fire symbolizes will and inspiration in the material world. Okay, well, we found the... We found the ritual site. I knows that the crow is there. Should I? Okay, you know what? Let's not head to the witch in the woods yet. The very least. Okay, found the uh, found the stuff. Hello, Father Bartholomew. Uh, hello, Tanner. Site. There you go. The site. Oh my God. <laughs> what? I found a suitable location for the exorcism. Oh, very good. Where? There's an ancient stone circle up near the old mill. Is it suitable for such an important ritual? Uh, uh, can you draw a uh, circle of protection there, for example? Yeah, you can. There's even a protective circle there. I already activated it. It still works. Very good. Very good. Are you not questioning any of this? Why does an exorcism have to be a ritual in the first place? An exorcism is not a simple matter. We must free Greta's secular body of the otherworldly possession and reclaim her soul. And how do we do that? It's not that easy. Rituals work through symbols. We must see to it that every power, every factor in the ritual, is somehow represented by symbols or symbolic objects. Then the symbol's powers join forces, and the ritual's effect unfolds. And the powers do what they're supposed to do? Uh, in theory. Okay. I have a ritual schedule, do I? I read something about the hexagrams once. It was pretty unintelligible <laughs> wouldn't you say it's probably best to go back there and read it again my son i found out something about these triangle symbols they stand for the four elements earth water fire and air excellent my son i guess that makes sense the four elements represent the holistic secular creation so that you can address greta in her entirety her body her soul, her spirit, and her mind. Do you already know how to use the four elements? Well, I think I have to combine them with the stones. There's a kind of bowl in front of each one. That's how it seems you activate them. Good, good, my boy. Then gather all four elements together and try them out first. Do you still have a few candles for the fire in the ritual? Unfortunately, no. Greta's thousands of vigils and offertories have exhausted our entire stock. 
You'll have to come up with something else. Handsome. Now that we have an appropriate place for the ritual, how do we get Greta out there? She's not likely to march out there on her own, is she? Hmm. Yes, that might prove difficult. Greta locked herself in her chambers right after she had you and Bloomford arrested. The sounds coming from her chambers indicate she's not quite herself at the moment. What did come out was a mirror, which she threw out of the window. It looks like we're going to need physical help. Sounds to me like a job for McCallum. Hmm. That might just prove a tad difficult. Why? Well, I sort of broke out of jail together with Bloomford. And kind of gave him a bit of an electric shock in the process. Did I oh confess dear. to you this, remember? Yes, Come I on, remember. I told you. Yeah, there uh, you go. But, my son, you confessed. And if God forgives you, then hopefully McCallum will too. But how can I convince him that his esteemed Greta has gone totally mad? You'll have to think of something, my son. Somehow, you have to prove to him that Greta is, uh, not quite herself at the moment. Okay. Okay. I have a ritual sequence. Look. Very good. But that isn't completed yet. You require the complete sequence for the ritual. We can't start until we have that. The correct planning of a ritual is everything. Especially one as dangerous as an exorcism. I wasn't even aware I had the ritual I'll be going schedule. Then. But... Okay. Can I now... Take this holy water. Nice of the church to offer that here. All right, we got the water. We got. I'm assuming Anselm. A hollow bamboo rod. Would that be air? <laughs> um. While I'm here, I also need to look at the fifth element book. Do. -do, -do. Uh, which book is it? Eh. Paradise Lost. Nope. A book about her. her no. What? F the title. Talk. Have a look in. The title is. Pro Legenda. Where is this book? Sumerian. No. Not that one. The title is O oh, Author and the symbol on the books. Okay. Grab. May I borrow this book? All right, but bring it back. Here it says, as steeped in legend as the existence of the fifth element may be, there can be no doubt that there can be no expression of intention without the reflection of this meta level. Goodness me, that's some heavy stuff. And the symbol on the book's spine is the same as on one of the stones in the stone circle, a hexagram. It says here, the fifth element is more than just the quintessence or the ether of the meta-element that lies between and behind everything. And ultimately, every author avoids its clear definition, of which every practitioner takes a different view. Oh dear, and it just keeps on like that. In an operation of intention, the fifth element thus represents the quintessence and thus both the ability to be able to perform this operation adequately as well as the proper authorization. And what does that mean? Well, you could see a ritual as an operation of intention. Really? She's right. A ritual is about achieving something. You have a plan that you want to implement. Uh-huh. And that's why the symbol in a ritual stands for both the authorization, the permission to do something, and the ability, the power to actually conduct it. And uh, that means? It means that you need something that gives you the right to act in God's name on Earth. And that you need something that you can use to separate the demon from Greta. Some kind of tool. Happy hunting. The, the, will the cross work? Will the cross work? Okay, in the meantime. It's not like we can grab these this coal. Wow. 
Why would I want? I don't know. I don't know if you need to make a fire in the, any point. Uh, blue bird. Just uh, give you a heads up of what's going on. <laughs> Hello, Bloomford. Hello, Talarel. How can I help you? I talked to Vladich, or rather, he he talked to me. Could you convince him to transport the flying machine to Tavern Lane? Sort of. He said he would transport the flying machine to Tavern Lane. Good, good. Yeah, but first I have to do something else. First, I have to perform an exorcism on Greta. You have to do what? Well, somehow, because of me, a strange something came out of the goat, and uh, and it's kind of entered into Greta, and Vladic said he'll move the flying machine to the alley, but first I have to go straight and Greta back out. The long and short of it is, I have to perform an exorcism. Aha. Uh -huh. Then do that, and come back once you've finished this exorcism thing. I'll be going then. I don't believe that you never heard of this. You have you made the ghost detector. <laughs> I I refuse to believe that you don't have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> what am Can't... I supposed to do? I don't know. It's been there for a long time. I'm hoping something we can use it for something, but uh it's clearly not the case. Okay, so we potentially have fire. We do definitely do have water. Uh, what else? We need earth, air, I don't know if I should have gone back and seen, according to the book, fire symbolizes will and inspiration in the material. Hmm, alchemical fire from an alchemical creature. Good idea. Okay. Aha, the stone is permanently activated. Very good. Oh. You don't even need to stay there. Okay. That's cool. I'll take it. Uh, that's air. That's earth. So this one should be... Wait, is this one the one? The symbol for water. The yeah. water symbolizes the feel. Why would I want? Hmm. Aha! That seems to activate it. I'll take the holy water with me for now. Okay. At the very least, we'll test. We're testing things out. This is the air. <laughs> Hmm, great. Do you plan on spending the whole time blowing into it? Hmm, probably not. Then I guess you'd have to think of something else. A ghost detector. Never cross the streams. It won't work. <laughs> just, I just wanted to see. Uh... Hmm. Put the mouse there. Is the mouse gonna blow on it the entire time? Aha, the stone is permanently activated. That's the way it's supposed to work. Okay. So the mouse on air. Anselm on fire. Water here. Now, I don't know what we could use for earth. That would be the soil symbol. Soil. Do we have any sort of soil? This bamboo no, rod? No, that doesn't belong in there. That's the wrong element. I mean, it's wood. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a... a workout, right? Okay, we definitely don't have any sort of soil. i to make sure to give this book back. For any sort of leaving takes place. Uh, let's go to the witch in the woods. 
What are the chances this flower can help us out? Okay, hold on. It's... And? How do you- uh, and and be Never mind. She's still gonna say the same thing. Water. Okay, nothing there. <gasps> the mushrooms! Oh, wait. Yeah, the witch in the woods has the, the, the mushrooms. I don't want to know. Hi. Can I uh, take these mushrooms? Hello, Talera. What? Do oh. you know anything about rituals? Actually, yeah. I mean, if you could uh, help us here, <laughs> get rid of a demon, please. Circle up near the mill. Do you know it? Of course. I never thought of that. The energies up there are sublime. A really good place for an exorcism. I'm off again. Mother Earth, witness your actions. Okay, well, I already had that information. Absolutely no way. Forget it. Why not? Okay, that is officially weird. Uh, do you not? Is it like you don't want to touch it? Why would I? What? What's up with the? I'm afraid the little furball. Won't... It won't. Work. You you really refuse to touch it. It won't. Work. Damn. What are the chances? I don't know. Will Bill's beef stew <laughs> help me out here? Because I do not know what to do for. The scarecrow? But then he's just made of what is he made of? Where can I just grab dirt? Can I grab can I, can I grab Yeah, it's not like I have graveyard dirt anymore. Oh, also, can I apologize? Even though technically the Hello, priest has Peter absolved us. I can understand why you're not wanting to help me, after the way I always annoyed you in heaven. I don't think that was what got him so angry. I know you didn't want to let Jesus down. That was really mean of me. It's really hard to always do the right thing here on Earth. Yeah, it's your right to be angry about that. Tell him it's working. He's already calmed down a bit. What? I know about the inverted cross. It is written that you did that because you considered yourself unworthy to die in the same manner as Jesus. Pretty classy, to be honest. Yikes! That didn't get him all worked up earlier. But it seems to be appeasing him. I know that the whole thing with Jesus was just a slip. I know you were always on his side up until then. Full of enthusiasm and always there for him. It must have been terrible for you when you found out that he was right and that you had denied him three times before the rooster crow. I never would have believed you had so much compassion. Earth seems to be changing him. St. Peter, I am sincerely sorry for all the things I said to you. Not just here on Earth, but in heaven too. It couldn't have been easy as a human with all of this matter and these feelings on this strange planet. Who can always know exactly what is right and wrong? Okay. Talibu, you did it! Peter, Saint Peter himself forgave you. And he released the key. You now have the ultimate symbol of authority to prove that you're allowed to act in God's name on Earth. Oh, that's what... Okay, I just wanted to see if I can actually apologize. More like thank St. Peter. Whatever. Okay. I still need dirt, though. <laughs> Locked. Bill. You got any dirt? I need dirt. Is it the stew again? Hello, Bill. Well, howdy, Talarel. Wait, maybe what ashes. Can I, can I get you? ashes? It's about Greta. Oh, no. What's up with her this time? 
She's possessed by a demon. Now you're getting carried away, boy. No, really. Actually by an angel, a fallen one. But uh, it comes down to the same thing. Can you help me? A demon? I mean, Greta's a few pages short of a complete Bible, but uh, a demon? Yes, and I need help with the exorcism. We need to grab Greta and take her to the ancient stone circle. Exorcism? That sounds dangerous. And you just can't go jailing Inquisition people? Don't that get you thrown in hell? They wish. And what if you're wrong? You got any evidence? She'll build... What? Um... I thought as much. Listen, boy. Greta is an evil old harpy. But I'm afraid that ain't no demon's fault. Angel or not. If you can somehow prove your wild claims, I'll be happy to help. But we can't just run around doing exorcisms on every harpy that comes along. Where'd we be then? I'll be going then. I don't, yeah, because I don't imagine... One of the... To preserve divine order, that they may receive their just signed... Yeah, because of the pamphlets that we got, none of An them really... For the protection of life and limb, I decree the risk. So basically, I mean, this is before Greta was even possessed, so that's nothing too crazy. Oh, so please, someone. Why would I? Why would I? I don't know. I don't know. I need dirt or something. <laughs> I'm really lost in the dirt one. How are you? Just have a chat again. Uh, I'm good. Well, good. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, nothing there. So, what's good? We got the key. We basically, yeah, we basically have everything but whatever is going to represent dirt. Oh yeah, I totally forgot we can talk to this guy. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hello, tree. <laughs> I think he's sleep. Oh, never mind. Well, I'll let you, you can have a nap. Seriously, like, we're surrounded by forests. Are you saying that I literally cannot take a branch or plant, a pot plant? Can I take the cactus? What are the chances I can take the cactus? The book? It's bay of paper. The spider? <laughs> what? What do I... Can I apologize to the tiny spider? Alien's not in, yeah. Yeah, so even either way, we can't really do it. Oh, wait. I can just trespass. Okay, we're trespassing. Don't mind us. Spider? Nope. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, hmm. Dirt, dirt, dirt. The potato? Can I go back and get the potato? <laughs> the the potato battery. Hmm. Okay. Let's just. Hello, Jeff. Oh. Okay, never mind. I'll be so, he doesn't have anything. Oh, wait, maybe the. That's no longer interactable. The sign says. Who? Oh, sort of. Oh, yeah, we also need to look for proof that Greta is uh, 
gone off the deep end. See if we can talk. Oh, hello, hands. What? What are you? Ha How about enough? Never mind. Better not. It's. Isn't it? I just hope Greta doesn't get. W A beer bottle. With okay. I don't know if that beer balls. The beer. Mm, I don't know if that's ever going to come into play, but. Oh. The sir, it, he is gone. Can I grab the... <sighs> Graveyard dirt again? Aha! Okay, there we go. Also, we tied that thing up. Unless he saw it and then undid it. Okay. I have all the elements now, right? If I have all the elements... Greta's Hall? I don't think... Okay. Not that. Wait. Is there something? Over here? Hmm. That looks... That looks interesting. Looks like some kind of mechanism which rings the holy bell. I'm just not sure if that will still work. Seeing as it's something that Bloomford built, I can almost guarantee that it won't work. We haven't even seen anything. What? The potato battery worked just fine. What are you talking about? Unless you're talking about the, uh... Another one of those flappy things. I really think that it's the same winged creature that was on Bill's farm. Okay, what is... What? I'm gonna assume this is part of the mechanisms we need in order to, uh... Get Greta to go. Hmm, a holy bell. If Greta really is possessed, then the sound of the holy bell could drive her out of the church. It's a wonder that she's been able to stand it in the church at all in her state. How can I get that bell to ring? That could work. But first you must gather all the items needed for the exorcism ritual before you ring the bell and drive Greta out of her chambers. Okay. There's apparently more places I have not been to yet. Oh, hi. Another strange creature made of stone. This one, however, is pretty stable. Sharp as a tack. Do I want to grab that? I can't reach. Okay, I'm not... I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> I'm going to like poke it. And then it's going to kill someone down below. So let's not. Let's see if the graveyard dirt works for the ritual. If that is the case. Then we can move on to... Um... Oh wait. I forget we're not. <laughs> we're not. I can't find the... I can't exit until I actually... Walk him to that area. Okay, so graveyard dirt. Hmm. Aha! That seems to activate it. I'll take the soil with me for now. Okay. Why would I? I don't know why it wants us to breathe on this, but... Unless it's for... Okay. Hmm. Aha! That seems to... Uh... It won't work like that. Why would I... Okay, so we're not doing this yet? Hmm. Aha! That I'll take. 
Okay, I'm gonna assume we are means we've got this done. So how in the world do I prove to Bill? Unless it's about driving her out of the church first. Seems to be another of Greta the Inquisitor's fanatical notes. Here it says, as the Holy Mass has been subject to repeated interruption through noise in the past, I hereby decree any children playing here to be apprehended immediately and handed over to their parents. Order and decorum must be maintained inside the church. Signed, Greta. Okay. Again, if that's been there for some time, I don't see why. Let's see what I can do with it. What? But what? That? It's not like she's saying punish them or something. Just as to uh, take the kids and hand them over to their parents. Oh, wait, is it me or something's glowing in the... Yeah, it looks like something's glowing. Okay, come on, I asked you to... I just realized that. Oh, this is the thing that got thrown out, huh? An old wooden bucket. Oh! There's quite the pretty hand mirror in there. I wonder who threw it in. Perhaps that old battle axe Greta couldn't look at herself any longer after this something got into her. A mirror like this is always handy to have around. Okay. A fine old mirror, elaborately finished. All right, well, I have all the items. Hello, Father Bartholomew. Uh, hello, Talarail. I have a ritual. Very good. But yet, you require the complete sequence okay. for the ritual. We can't start until we have that. The correct planning of a ritual is everything, especially one as dangerous as an exorcism. I'll be gone. Okay, so, okay, so I have the items, but I need to know the sequence in which the they have to be placed. Okay. So I can give this book back. Hello, Magnus. Greeting. I would like hmm, enough. Okay. I'll be off. So now. Because that was the fifth element book. Paradise Lost. Paradise Lost. A book about her. what the title. Have a look. The title is Promising. Legenda. Here it is written. And behold, the apostle make he okay. me then my and the head delicious not Okay, so we that's where we got the information about Peter. Physics by Aristotle with twenty color plates. Phew, that's one thick book. I don't know. I <laughs> here it says every material is classified by a passive and an active primal quality. The passive qualities are hot and cold. The active wet and dry. The combination of passive and active qualities produces an element. Dry and cold produce earth, dry and warm produce fire, wet and warm produce air, wet and cold produce water. Just as warm ascends and cold descends, the symbol for warm points up while the symbol for cold points down. Hey, the symbols in the book are the same as those on the stones in the circle. It goes on. Our world is composed of the four elements, earth, water, air, and fire. Each of these four elements is assigned a precise location. At the center of the world lies earth, heavy and immobile, in its natural place. Around it lie the spheres of the four elements. Uh-huh. 
So four of the five symbols represent the four elements, fire, earth, water, and air. Okay, but... Does it tell us what order these things are going to be going in? Sumerian literature and... Here it says, Gozer the Traveler. He will come in one of the pre-chosen forms. During the rectification of the Voldernai, the Traveler came as a large and moving tour. Then, during the third reconciliation of the last of the Mechatrix supplicants, they chose a new form for him, that of a giant slur. Many shubs and zulls knew what it was to be roasted in the depth of the slur that day. And that's supposed to be Babylonian? Sumerian, not Babylonian. Big difference. Okay, I don't know if I should be taking this book. May I borrow this book? All right, but bring it back. Um, I, I mean, it talks about the symbols, but I'm not, I don't know about the order. It said, you know, they described Hello, Father Bartholomew. up and down, Hello, but then Chalera. that doesn't really tell me what the order should be. I found out in a ritual, it is supposed to represent the authorization and the ability to perform that ritual. Very interesting, but it makes sense. You must have the right to perform a ritual in God's name, and you need a tool to use when performing the exorcism. What would I need to empower me to perform the exorcism ritual? Hmm, that's a good question. You'll need a really powerful artifact that will let you separate the possessed, in this case Greta, from the possessor, whatever that something is. Okay. What could be considered justification so that I can act in God's name on Earth? Hmm. We are battling powers that far exceed any that exist here on Earth. We need God's help, so to say, his permission to perform a heavenly deed upon Earth in his name. The only one on Earth who has that is the Pope, symbolized by the papal or Peter's keys. Okay, then we got that. I have a ri very good yet you require the comp we can't such the correct planning of especially okay so do I just have I'll to go good. there and figure out what the order is because oh curiosity what does this thing say how <laughs> it does okay one ritual oh I'm missing okay get Greta onto ritual platform that's the thing I'm missing? Oh, interesting. What? Get Greta onto ritual platform. I'm missing two though. Enter protective circle. Activate protective circle. So... Basically, from what it looks like... I need to bind her there somehow or trap her there Greta will need to be on that platform later but how in heaven's name do I get her there you'll probably need help what so apparently I'm supposed to be combining these the leftover scraps of Greta's decrees Okay. I'm certain he's still pretty. I can't. Okay, well, I know I can go to. Actually, oh no, I keep forgetting. Keep forgetting. Bill. Bill, is this your place?
Okay, I don't know if this is gonna help me get number two, but unless he's the he's the part Why where it's like he's the one do that. He's the one re restraining. Oh, they can be reorganized. Why don't you put them together to make something really strange? Okay, well, obviously that has to be last. Holy Mass has in the past been subject to repeated interruptions. Order in a church, I hereby decree that any... Okay, here about this. <laughs> Unless, is there something more that... Can I combine it with the tickets? Why would I want to do that? I don't know. It won't work like that. Why would... Do I combine tickets? Did I combine the ticket or did I just... No. That's that seriously it. Oh my god. You're driven insane. Pamphlet snicket, ticket snippet. Oh, they can be reorganized. Why don't you put them together? to make something really strange. Uh, pure violations, future violations, pure violations, future violations are stripped subject fine under the Municipal Code. Dustbins are a grave threat to public. Okay, well, I mean, here you have the beginning of a sentence. Under the municipal code, dustbins are grimaces and related to facial being warned results in a, a grave threat to, pub, to the public. Are destructions arising from personal negligence? Grimaces and related facial con contortions. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to end the set here. Um, so, most likely, I've cut out a lot of space where I just... For the life of me, I can't figure out the pamphlet. Um, oh, they Why don't you put... Like, the one that makes most sense to me is if I do the whole children thing. I think it's this one that I had going, but he doesn't say anything or they will go, oh, this is it. And then they, they put it together. So either this isn't it. And so far from what I can tell, none of the, it looks like none of the pieces could match up. There's only four slots. So I don't know what I need to be doing with that, with this in order to get it to be complete. Because it's not like we're fitting or matching up the, the the torn sides with each other. This to me makes the most sense in terms of, of the scraps that we have and putting them into the four slots. This makes them more, what the hell? Why would this be a decree? That's a bit too much, but He's not sticking them together. I need glue or something because she, they're not going, oh yes, this is it. This is what we can use. Why would I? Why would I? I don't know. Okay. I might... I, I, again, I think it's like I actually might need to look this up because I've been at this for more than an hour trying to put these pieces together. Oh, they. Why don't you? Let's sell this one. This one I haven't quite figured it out. Obviously, I know this one has to be last. Future violations are subject to fine. And the Mississippi Code dustpins are. Be warned for gross mischief. 
we find local jail. The delinquent is sentenced to Our destruction arising from personal negligence. Uh, the one gets a sentence to be warned, grimaces, and related. Under. I don't know. Again, another one, four slots. I I can't figure it out. If I need a glue or something to hold everything together. Actually, do you do you have anything? You you know books. You wouldn't have anything in here that could potentially help me glue these pieces of paper Hello, together. Greeting. Yeah, no. I'll be off there. Okay, well I'm gonna say here and I guess I actually I, I'm probably gonna have to look this up because I do not I can't figure out how to get I can't figure out how to get the second point unless the second point is to have someone keep her in place. Um either way, thank you for liking if you liked. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribed. Thank you for ferreting if you ferreted. Thank you for simply Hello, clicking Father. on this video. Until next time, guys. See ya!